Official sources in Washington say the schedule for talks between Pakistan and the IMF has been readjusted but the negotiations are continuing. Official sources told Dawn that the talks were rescheduled after last month's release of a World Bank report on flood damage in Pakistan. The damage, loss and needs assessment calls for building back better based on the principles of the poor first, transparency, inclusion and climate resilience. The assessment estimates total damages to exceed $14.9 billion and total economic losses to reach about $15.2 billion. Dismissing the claim that the talks have been postponed due to differences between Pakistan and the IMF, the sources pointed out that the fund lauded the government's policy during a meeting last month between IMF Deputy Managing Director Antoinette Sayya and Finance Minister Isakdar in Washington. Share prices went up at the beginning of the outgoing week as the country expected to get financing from China and Saudi Arabia. Meanwhile, the rupee was slightly down against the greenback as it closed at 221.95, down 0.1% week on week. In addition, foreign exchange reserves of the State Bank of Pakistan went down to $7.9 billion, down by $956 million from a week ago. October also saw a 9.1% drop in remittances on a month-on-month -month basis, with overseas Pakistanis sending home $2.2 billion. Data released by the State Bank of Pakistan showed the year-on-year -year decline in remittances last month clocked at 15.7%. Underprivileged citizens are braced for another tough month when it comes to buying flour as owners of both mills and community-level grinding units say they may not be able to meet consumers' demand. Besides, Chucky owners have another axe to grind. They complain that millers are getting more wheat from the government stock even though it was they, the Chucky owners, who catered to citizens' need at the street level. With the addition of the production cost of Rs 22, flour's retail price comes down to around 110 rupees. The retail price of Chucky flour was fixed in March at 72 rupees per kilo. Since then, the district administration has avoided fixing the Chucky rate due to the ongoing row between Chucky owners and the food department over quota. Meanwhile, the wheat price has increased in the market ever since the government announced a support price of Rs 3500 per 40 kilo bag for the upcoming wheat crop season, though quite early, that is in September, to support flood-stricken farmers who have lost their kharif crops. The Ministry of Planning has launched a special development initiative worth 40 billion for 20 backward and poor districts to implement various uplift initiatives in 60 months in four provinces. The estimated cost of this project is on a 50-50 cost-sharing basis between the federal and provincial governments. The project is approved by the Central Developing Working Party, headed by Planning Minister S. N. Iqbal. Based on multi-dimensional poverty index scores, the selected 20 districts include 11 districts from Balochistan, 5 from Sindh, 3 from Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, and 1 from Punjab. Many of these districts have been direly affected by the recent flood disaster, especially in Balochistan and Sindh.